Let's talk about cytoskeleton. The term means the skeleton of the cell. In common practice, textbook diagrams of a cell and its organelles typically show a cell with organelles such as nucleus, endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria, Golgi apparatus, lysosomes, and peroxisomes all present in the cytoplasm of the cell. Most diagrammatic depictions fail to display an et another important group of structures that are present throughout the cytoplasm and helps maintain the structure of the cell and also aids the cell to perform its functions. And this structure is the cytoskeleton of the cell. This is a group of structures that are present throughout the cytoplasm of the cell. The cytoskeleton is a network of protein fibers that are present throughout the cytoplasm of the cell. In this image, you can see a cell with the nucleus at the center and various organelles inside like the purple one you see there this is a mitochondria and you see various other organelles within the cell and also you see some thread like fibers running throughout the cell these structures are the cytoskeleton of the cell there are three main cytoskeletal elements which are the microfilaments the intermediate filaments and the microtubules the microfilaments are the actin fibers and the intermediate filaments are the filaments such as the keratin, neurofilaments and nuclear lamins. And there is also structure known as the microtubules. This here is the image of a cell viewed under polarized fluorescence microscopy. You can clearly see the cell with the nucleus in the center and various protein fibers that are scattered throughout the cytoplasm of the cell. These fibrillar proteins make up the cytoskeleton of the cell. The main components of the cytoskeleton are the microtubules, microfilaments and the intermediate filaments. The microtubules are formed of various tubulin subunits here you see these round green structures they are all tubulin subunits and various tubulin subunits combine to form a microtubule in case of microfilaments that is the actin microfilament various subunits of actin combine to form the microfilament the microfilament in the cytoskeleton is the actin microfilament in which various subunits of actin combine to form the actin microfilament. This red structure, round structure here is one actin subunit. Like that, various such actin subunits combine to form the actin microfilament. And in case of intermediate filaments, there are many types such as the keratin, vimentin, and so on. And here you see various subunits of keratin. In this picture, they depict a keratin intermediate filament. So you see various subunits of keratin combine to form a keratin filament. Here is one keratin subunit, here is another keratin subunit, here is another one and so on. Like this, various subunits of keratin combine to form the keratin filament. The cytoskeleton is a network of fibrillar proteins that are present throughout the cytoplasm of the cell as explained in the previous slides. The functions are to maintain the structure and shape of the cell, they give support to the cell, they assist the cell in the process of transporting materials and they also enable the mobility of the cell. Now let's understand how the cytoskeleton 
helps the cell in all of these functions. The microtubules are made up of tubulin dimers, that is the alpha and beta tubulin subunits. In this picture here, you see these darker round structures depicting the alpha tubulin and next to it you can see the lighter pink structures depicting the beta tubulins and many such alpha and beta tubulins are arranged next to each other and one such linear arrangement is a protofilament and many such protofilaments are stacked together in a tube-like arrangement forming one microtubule. You can see many linear protofilaments combined together and they form a tube-like structure. A tube-like structure which is the microtubule. And also in this picture you can see the kinesine molecule, dynein molecule and the cargo that are carried by them. So using this picture, I can explain one of the important functions of the microtubule, which is the transport of cargo within the cell. Now, what is a cargo? The cargo is, in, in terms of a cell, it is nothing but the uh, components or the vesicles or organelles that are transported within the cell. Cargo is the term used to imply the vesicles or organelles that are being transported within the cell. And this transport of cargo occurs with the help of certain structures known as the molecular motors. The three main molecular motors within the cell are the kinesin, dynein and the myosin. Molecular motors, now what are they? As the name implies, they are motors, that is they can move molecular motors, motors that help move molecules and they help in transporting cargo within the cell. Now, how do they do this? How does microtubule help in that process? Now, the two main molecular motors with relation to microtubule transport are the kinesin and the dynein. Here you can see the kinesin molecule and here is the dynein molecule and you can see the dynein attached to its cargo and the kinesine attached to its cargo. So this uh, structure here, the leg-like structure here depicts the kinesine molecule. And you can imagine that these legs can move, they keep moving and they help transport cargo within the cell. So when a cargo needs to be transported in the cell, it binds to the kinesine or the dynein molecule. And what this kinesine or dynein molecule does is it walks along the microtubule of the cell. So that way it helps move the cargo within the cell. So you know that a cell has the nucleus in the center and various other organelles are present in the cell and there are many uh, vesicles and so on. And also, you know now that there is a lot of fibers that go all across the cell and these are the cytoskeleton. And one of the components of the cytoskeleton is the microtubule. So when a cargo attaches to a molecular motor it just needs to move along the tracks here 
along the tracks of microtubule to be transported to various parts of the cell. It's that simple. The kinesine or the molecular motor binds to the cargo and it just walks along the microtubule of the cell helping to transport the cargo to various parts of the cell. In case of kinesine, the cargo is transported in an anterograde direction this way and in case of dynein, the cargo is transported in a retrograde direction that is this way. Another important function of the microtubules is to help in mitosis or cell division, where a cell divides into two identical daughter cells. And microtubules help in this process by forming spindle fibers. Spindle fibers are nothing but microtubules that are arranged in a certain way. And these spindle fibers aid in the movement of chromatids during cell division. I would encourage you to watch the video link on top to better understand what is mitosis and also understand how microtubules help in the process of mitosis or cell division. In addition to this, the cilia and the flagella which project from the surface of certain cells are also composed of microtubules. The cilia are found in the respiratory mucosa and fallopian tubes, whereas the flagella are found in the spermatozoa. If you look at the structure, you can see that the outside of the cilia or flagella is made up of plasma membrane. And if you look inside, you can see that there are a lot of microtubules inside. All these green structures are the microtubules and they have a 9 plus 2 arrangement. There is 9 doublets on the outside and 2 singlets on the inside. When you say doublets, it's mean, it means that there are 2 microtubules next to each other as a doublet. So this you see one microtubule here and another one here. These together are called as a doublet. So that is one doublet of microtubule. That way you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there are nine doublets of microtubules on the outside, and inside you see one, two, that is two singlets of microtubule. That is called as a nine plus two arrangement of microtubules. So you see that they are made up of microtubules and these structures that is the cilia and the flagella can move. That is possible because there are molecular motors adjacent to the microtubules. These pink structures you see here are the molecular motor namely dynein molecular motors. These help in the movement of the microtubule, thus helping in the movement of the cilia. If you look closer, you see one doublet microtubule here and another doublet microtubule here. And between that, you see the dynein arms. And this dynein molecular motor can move with the help of ATP hydrolysis. The movement of dynein allows the movement of microtubule and when microtubules move together, they help in bending of the cilia or the flagella, thus permitting the movement. To understand better about the movement of cilia and flagella with relation to microtubules, I will recommend you to watch this video link on top. Microfilaments are yet another group of structures that form the cytoskeleton of the cell. The microfilaments are made up of 
actin subunits. There is globular actin and filamentous actin. Globular actin is nothing but the monomer or in other words, the single subunits of actin. So the single subunits of actin are called as the globular actin or G actin. And many such globular actin molecules polymerize to form the actin microfilament. And in this case, the actin is known as the filamentous actin or F actin. That is the structure of a microfilament. And many of you might be knowing that actin is involved in muscle contraction. But actin is not only present in muscle cells, they are also present in all other cells of the body. In muscle cells, the sliding of myosin head over actin microfilament helps in the contraction of the muscle. The cells have anchoring junctions that help adhere the cells to each other on the sides and also with the extracellular matrix beneath them. Of these, the actin microfilaments help in forming the adherence junction between the cells and also the focal adhesion molecules between the cell surface and the extracellular matrix beneath them. So the microfilaments do play a role in cell junctions. When you view the motile cells such as endothelial cells, neurons, immune cells and epithelial cells under an electron microscope, you can notice that there are thin projections from their outer membrane. And these thin projections are called as the lamellipodia. And these lamellipodia are composed of actin microfilaments. They are just projections from the outer surface of the cell. They do not have any organelles. They are just composed of actin microfilaments. This here is the image of a cell showing its intermediate filaments using fluorescence microscopy. The intermediate filaments help connect the nuclear membrane with the cell membrane. You see these filaments here are the intermediate filaments which help connect the nuclear membrane with the cell membrane. And there are different types of intermediate filaments specific to different types of cells. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Do click the thumbs up if you liked the video. Leave your feedback in the comments below. You can also ask me any questions or let me know about any other topics that you would like me to cover. Do share it with your friends and kindly subscribe to support the channel and to get posted whenever I upload a new video. See you next time. Until then, happy learning.